And when you see us, you know we mean business. We back on our savage shit. DJ Ben. My nigga Rondo, number nine. very first video on YouTube of all time so uh, bas basically I just picked up my fucking phone and uh, I started thinking about some shit and I just decided I pick up picked up my phone and I'll make this video right here and um, basically I'm from Cleveland I'm not from Chicago so Cleveland's pretty close to Chicago but I'm, I'm just a big fan of, of the Chicago drill scene um, I'm a huge 600 fan rap fan OTF all that 300 love all those dudes so I'm, I'm informed I'm as formed as you could be from outside Chicago and outside those gangs so this is what I want to talk about I wanted to talk about one of my favorite channels um, a dude who calls himself Chicago World News uh, those who aren't familiar Chicago World News is a uh, or was a YouTube guy who made videos on the life in Chicago. He obviously lived in Chicago. Uh, he would drive around in, in uh, notorious hoods in Chicago, uh, talk to a lot of rappers. Um, he would touch on, he would talk about a lot of cases, uh, do gang member profiles. He would, he would just talk about a lot, of, a lot of interesting stuff that was going on in Chicago, and he, he was a pretty popular channel. So like, so basically like, a lot of people liked his channel. A lot of people fucked with his channel. And then one day, like like two or three days ago, or so, or something like that, all his shit was gone. His YouTube channel was gone. Uh, his his Twitter was gone. His Instagram was supposedly gone. I didn't even know he had an Instagram, but apparently that's gone. Everything is just gone, and which, which left people wondering, like where he went, what happened to him, is he okay? Um, a lot of people were speculating, saying he was dead, uh, he was killed uh, by some people or kidnapped or some shit. Um, man, which didn't really make much sense to me because if you're fucking dead, how, how can you delete all your social media? <laughs> like, it's, it's not possible. So that was the first thing that didn't make sense to me when people were saying that he was dead. If you're dead, you can't delete shit because you're dead. So that's definitely not the case. He's alive somewhere. And this is what I'm gonna tell you what I think happened to him. A few days ago, um, a week or so ago actually, not too long ago at all, he put up a video of D Rose. D Rose of 600, the 600 Savage, D Rose. Um, he put up a video and basically in the video, he was talking about how D Rose, he knew D Rose was 100% innocent. And he said he had a name of, of who killed Venzel Richardson. Now, Venzel Richardson, obviously, the young man who allegedly D. Rose shot and killed two years ago. That's the name. That's uh, that's what was going on with D. Rose's case. Um, that's why D. Rose is in jail. He was accused of killing Venzel Richardson. And Chicago World News is basically, basically saying in this video that he posted, no, D. Rose is 100% innocent, and I have a name of who actually did this murder but I, he didn't he didn't say the name on youtube obviously but he said he had a name of the guy who did it now like i said like a, most of you might not have seen this video because it was only up for like two or three days or something before his channel got deleted so basically i watched this d rose video and i was like damn like i don't know if he should be talking about shit like that you know that that because that's some classified information. He's he's basically saying like he has a name of it, like he knows who actually killed this kid, this Benzo Richardson kid, and um, which is wild because this is what happened. I think the police saw that video. The police saw that video, and they either made him take all his shit down for his protection, or because they wanted to know more information about what he knew about that case, or both. I don't know. Because the, what he was talking about, the information he was saying, he slipped up big time. I, I, I think that's, that was way, way too classified for YouTube. He basically saying he, knew, he knows who murdered this man and then D. Rose is falsely accused of this and D. Rose is innocent. Which, which very well might be true, but saying you know, saying you have a name is another level. 
saying you actually know who did it is another level. So really, the cops, this is this is what had to happen. The cops probably snatched him up um, for his own protection or whatever to get more info. It made him take all his shit down for that reason because that information is so classified that he had. And and like I said, like if you want to if you want to hear my opinion on on the D Rose, the whole D Rose situation, um, because. Chicago World News talk about D Rose a lot. He's very familiar with D Rose. I'm and I'm pretty familiar with D Rose as well. Um, they said D the witnesses pointed out or recognized D Rose allegedly a minivan, a white minivan or something, slid up on the scene, slid the doors back, and somebody with a mask shot and killed Benzel Richardson. And they and then the witnesses pointed that out as being D Rose. Now that's kind of fucked up to me because that doesn't that doesn't match up. That doesn't really register with me. How how would you even recognize D Rose? For one, he has a mask on. For two, it's a moving car most likely. For three, he's probably relatively far away. Four, it was at night. So you're telling me in that situation, you're positively, you're positively identifying D Rose a hundred percent as being the shooter in that situation. I mean, think about that. How how could you possibly identify somebody under all them circumstances? So like, think about it. If you if you're walking down the fucking street with your buddies or whatever, and you're about to walk into a store. You start getting shot at. You start getting shot at. Shots shots start popping out. You're running, you're ducking, you're, you know what I'm saying? You're not, you're not looking back or whatever and to see who's shooting or whatever. Even, even if you do, there's no fucking way you, you're, you're going to identify a dude with a mask on in a moving car at night. There's no way you can 100% positively identify that man. You know what I'm saying? So that that's why I think it, it's bullshit that D. Rose... Oh, uh, was accused of that shit anyway. Like, and I, and E Day and 600 Breezy and them, they were adamant in saying that D Rose wasn't even there. And now I'm starting to believe that. You know what I'm saying? Now, now I'm starting to believe that it's really true that D Rose was not even there for for that that situation. I I truly believe that now. But because because of D Rose's reputation and the reason that these people identified him. It's because they're the ops. It was it, it was supposed to be a, a, a gang member situation, obviously, and the ops just wanted to put D Rose in jail. They they know D Rose, D Rose's reputation in the streets. They they know D Rose is a savage. You know what I'm saying? And uh, and I that's definitely that's definitely what happened with that. And and for people who are saying, people who who fucking think, uh, oh you know whatever, who who cares if D Rose was innocent, uh or whatever, he he still. You know he still did a lot of dirt in the streets. Just keep him in jail because he's. We know he's done a lot of stuff. Well, that's 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 not the fucking that's not the fucking point. For this particular case of Venzel Richardson, D Rose is is most likely innocent. You know what I'm saying? You can't just fucking keep him in jail, no matter no matter what you know about him or how or, 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 or how much dirt he allegedly did in the streets. You can't just fucking keep him in jail. Based on his reputation, like, because you think you know something, you need facts, you need, like, statistics, you know what I'm saying? You, you can't just fucking keep him in jail for those, for, for those people saying that he should just stay in jail anyway. Now, I'm not saying I I know D. Rose is 100% innocent, I'm just saying I, I believe he's innocent. It's all the facts, or all, all the situation, the situation that doesn't line up. So, with, with that said, like... You know what I'm saying? Like D D Rose in Chicago World News to get back to that. Um, it, it, it's it's a weird situation because a lot of people are in touch with the Chicago drill scene, including me. And I'm not even from Chicago. Like I said, I'm from Cleveland, but I'm in touch with that. And um, for Chirac World News, Chicago World News, really hope his page comes back. And uh, I. Honestly, I really hope I'm correct about this shit. I'm, I'm pretty sure I am. You know, I, I hope he's not somewhere dead. I hope he's not kidnapped or something like like a lot of you motherfuckers are saying. But I, I definitely think that's what happened. He, he, he made that video. And uh, 
he might have just said a little too much in his video about D Rose. So I hope I hope that kind of maybe cleared some shit up. I hope we find out soon what actually happened 100 percent I'm hoping I'm right, like I said. And uh like like I said, this is my first video. Picked up my camera in the car and I said fuck it, I'll make I'll make this video. So uh December 23rd, 2K16. So happy holidays and uh, all y'all stay safe out there. And uh, if you like this video, maybe I'll make some more. I don't know. But uh, I'll catch y'all soon. Yep. Oh,